This now to all of the IPL action. Wednesday's match was a clash between RR and PBKS. What happened? Let's give you the highlights. Just seven balls left. PBKS defeated RR by five wickets and Jamie Alter has everything that went down. Take a look. It's been a strange last couple of weeks for Rajasthan Royals. This team led by Sanju Samson spent over half of this IPL sitting at the top of the points table. But now, having lost four in a row, the fourth defeat coming against Punjab Kings, it's left them in a tricky spot. Yes, they've qualified for the playoffs, but that vital top two finish which every team in the playoffs seeks to seal, it's now almost escaped Rajasthan Royals. They have one more match left against KKR, but I think a lot of the fans of the Royals franchise will be wondering, just what the heck has gone wrong with this team? Suddenly the runs are not flowing from the main batsmen, the big totals are not coming. The bowlers, well the bowlers are doing a decent job, but collectively the most, the most well-rounded, the most balanced unit of the IPL until now is not looking like contenders for the IPL trophy. We've seen Sanju Samson go past 500 runs, but his dismissal yesterday along with another failure to uh, Yashasvi Jaiswal, the absence of Joss Butler, England's white ball captain having gone home to England to prepare for the T20 World Cup, his not being there for the playoffs, it just looks like maybe, maybe Rajasthan Royals are not the killer team a lot of us, myself included, thought they were over the last five odd weeks of the IPL. Yesterday's match against Punjab Kings, the team which was one of the first to be knocked out, in fact the second after Mumbai Indians to be knocked out of the IPL, to my mind it gave Sanju Samson and his team a terrific opportunity to cement their place at number 2. They remained stuck at 16 because the batsmen just were not able to get runs on the board. Not a single 50 for Rajasthan Royals, the bowlers defending 144, well they were decent but collectively like I said, Jahel, Ashwin, Avesh Khan, Trent Bolt, these bowlers were looking so prolific over the first 3-4 weeks of the IPL but now suddenly that ruthlessness has gone missing. Definitely Rajasthan Royals are in the playoffs but what does it say about a team which over the past several seasons has often suffered these kind of slumps? Many fans of Rajasthan Royals and they do have a fantastic fan base will say, you know what, at least this slump has not come at the halfway mark. It's come as the team was already doing very, very well to stay in the top two and it's not necessarily impacted their chances in the playoffs. But every team which remains one, which remains two, KKR for instance, will always want to grab that number two spot because that is where you get an added advantage in the playoffs. You don't have to go and play the eliminator. I'm not saying that Sanju Samson's team has come so far behind the eight ball that they're not going to stay number two, but that final match against KKR, it is going to be vital. On the other hand, Sam Curran getting his joint highest score in the IPL. It's been a bit of a, what do I say, a bit of a topsy-turvy season for Sam Curran. 18.5 crores spent on the England all-rounder. He was not supposed to captain Punjab Kings. That job was given to Shikhar Dhawan, but injury meant that Dhawan's missed most of, well, in fact, almost all the IPL. And Sam Curran has had to lift this team up. His performances from an all-rounder perspective have been, have been a bit patchy, but yesterday he got wickets, he got a vital half century. He was the man of the match. Perhaps a case of too much, too late from Sam Curran and Punjab Kings. They have now bowed out of the IPL. They were never really in the race for the playoffs, but like many, many teams have done in seasons past, they are trying their best to be the banana skin that many teams in the race for the playoffs or teams which have qualified for the playoffs do not want to step on.